I'll be showing you how to model the structure including walls, floors, ceiling, windows, doors and baseboards. The technique that I'm using are based on covering the model with lines, applying extrude and edit poly in modify panel. During the lesson, we will use some advanced functions from the modify panel like chamfer to round the edges, floor generator, sweep, and a few other techniques. But first, let's take a look at the file. I've got AutoCAD 2021 open. Our project is a one bedroom suite and then. Here is the foyer. On the left side, we have the master bedroom connected to the walk-in closet on the both side and on suite. In the other side, we have laundry room powder room, office, dining area and kitchen in one side and on the other side we have living area and balcony. It's an open concept floor plan. Most of the time our projects start from CAD drawings that we receive from clients and usually CAD files have a bunch of information and details that aren't necessarily helpful for us as designers. It's always good to keep them as a source, but we don't need to export them to 3ds Max because things like dimensions, text, labels can be shown in 3ds Max, meaning we have to clean up the drawing, leaving only the information necessary to create our scenes such as walls, doors, windows, and the furniture layout. There are different ways to prepare the drawing for export, which I'll go over in two ways. The first method is to save it as a file with another name and then make a copy of it. Then delete all the extra layers that we don't need like dimensions, text, labels and move them all to one layer. Type layer to open the layer window and make a new layer to move your drawing into. Then we can import into 3ds Max. This method is fine if you're working on a personal project. For a larger project, I'd recommend this approach. First, you have to turn off extra layers. We have a command called layoff, meaning turn off layers temporarily. W block or right block allows us to make a global block. A global block is usually stored in a network in a folder. It's accessible by multiple users and can be inserted in multiple drawings. Type W block and hit enter. In this window, hit this button and select your drawing. Choose where it will save. Repeat these steps for all the drawings separately, since you want to save them in a separate layers in 3ds Max. Now we are done with the AutoCAD part and it's time to jump into 3ds Max. We are in 3ds Max 2021. The first thing you want to do is set the units. Go to the Customize Unit Setup. Choose Centimeter here and Centimeter here and hit OK. And then grid and snap setting, check vertex endpoint midpoint. And in the option tab, set the angle to 5 to allow for rotation to 5 degrees. Check enable axis constraint to ensure that you are moving and the selected axis only. Now it's time to start modeling. I go to the file, import. And I go to the address that I save all the CAD files. And find floor plan hit open and here in this window I, I changed the unit to inches because our unit in AutoCAD was inches and hit OK and now we have our floor plan go to the one viewport and open layer explorer and select all the layers here right click go to the add selection new layer change the name to the floor plan and then make a group of that, select all, go to the group and change the name to the floor plan, hit OK. And then I'm going to move it to the 0, 0, 0. And the next step is deleting all the layers that are empty. So I'm going to choose these layers that are empty right click delete the next one is rcp and we're gonna do the same thing that we did for floor plan now i want to start importing uh, elevation go to the file import select kitchen sink elevation change the units to the inches hit ok 
and then move it to the separate layer with the same name that we have kitchen sink elevation and then after I'm gonna move it to the floor plan uh, of course with a snap toggle because it's easier to put it in the exact vertex that we have in the floor plan and then I'm going to continue to do the same thing with all the elevations. Now I'm going to start modeling. The first thing that I have to do, I have to turn off all the layers and just uh, leave floor plan turn on. And then I'm going to make a new layer and call it walls. And after that, I'm going to start modeling of the wall in this layer. I'm going to change it to the wall here. And then I'm going to go to the line and I start modeling of the wall with lines. I trace all the lines for the walls and I do it with the snap toggles on uh, because it's very helpful for modeling as the vertex mode helps to draw the line which can stick on the plan and get the accurate measurement. And I close the spline here to have a solid wall and continue with create line so now i'm done with that and then i'm gonna turn off the create line and go to the modifier panel and uh, choose extrude to pull up the walls and because in autocad the, the ceiling height is nine feet here i insert nine feet in the extrude amount to have the same height and now there you go this is walls so the next thing that i'm gonna do is closing the top part of the doors to do that i'm gonna use a box as a measurement source because the standard height of the doors is seven feet so i'm gonna make a box with the height of the seven feet and i'm gonna uh, put it exactly the bottom part of the wall I'm going to choose walls going to the modifier panel edit poly and I'm going to choose all the edges here and uh, connect to make uh, another edges and then I'm going to put it on the top part of the box and then I'm going to go to the polygons and start choosing the polygons on the opposite side and make a bridge so I'm going to continue uh, to do the same thing wherever I have doors. And uh, after doing that, then I'm going to do the same thing for the windows. So now I'm going to change uh, this measurement box for the windows. First, I'm going to go to the AutoCAD and uh, I'm going to um, go to the annotate and measure the top part of these windows in the ensuite and the bottom part as well. So I have one foot from top and two feet from the bottom part. So I'm going to make two bucks as a measurement source. The first one is two feet and I'm going to put it here in the bottom part and another one with height of one foot. All the windows in the living, dining and master bedroom are full height and they have one foot gap from the ceiling and uh, the only uh, the only small window that we have is in the ensuite one foot gap from top and two feet from the bottom i do the same thing that i did with doors means with connect i'm gonna make some extra edges and then bridge all the opposite sides polygons Now I want to make a floor and ceiling. In order to do that, I go to the layer explorer, make a new layer and change the name to the floor slash ceiling. Then I'm going to turn off the layer for the walls for now. We don't need it. And then I go to the top view and with line start tracing the outline of the floor plan of course with a snap toggle which makes it easier and then i'm gonna make a thickness for that with extrude 
minus 4 inches then uh, I go to the front view and uh, turn on the layer for the walls make a copy of that and put it uh, on the top part of the walls as a ceiling and then right click object properties and check back face call and display as a box and hit ok and there you go we can see through the walls now I'm gonna turn off the walls and ceiling for now and then select floor and make a copy of that with ctrl V I'm gonna hit copy here and hit OK uh, make the amount like the thickness zero and in modifier panel uh, I'm gonna add edit poly on that and then I'm gonna change the color to something different and for now I'm gonna turn off the floors and just keep this one the copy to make the floor for now and I'm gonna go to the modifier panel going to the edge and then I'm gonna select the slice plane to make some extra edge for the area that we have powder room and ensuite because in these two area we have tile we don't have hardwood so rotate it here and put it in the corner of the ball and hit a slice to make the edge and another one here for the ensuite and hit a slice again and then rotate slice plane to make the other walls and uh, after done with that then it's time to go to the polygons select polygons for the floor of the powder room and ensuite and detach it and then i'm gonna go to the main floor that we have hardwood first i'm gonna save it here then go to the modifier panel floor generator and here I need to do some adjustment change this one to the 260 to have variation in the size and the 14 here for the width and uh, for the grout length 0 0.08 and uh, here 25 percent and 0 0.5 for the extrude 0.1 for bevel we don't need to do any other adjustment and then check if it looks good looking perfect now then i need to do the same thing for the tile go to the modifier panel floor generator and i'm gonna have 24 inches by 24 inches tile with the offset of zero and same adjustment for the extrude and bevel and in offset x and y i can move the tiles now uh, i want to change the color of the tiles with something different i choose this one and now we have hardwood and tiles here I'm gonna go to the layer explorer and turn on the walls and make a new layer for the baseboard first I go to the baseboard profile that I brought from CAD files and I'm gonna make another baseboard profile here I'm gonna trace the line and use this one as a baseboard profile and then I go to the layer explorer baseboard layer and with line I make some path for the baseboard adding some lines for all the interior walls after done with that I'm gonna select the line and going to the modifier panel and select sweep uh, here and then after uh, i'm gonna go to the 
use custom selection and then pick the profile that we made and there you go we have our baseboard and make sure that smooth pad doesn't have check mark and then I'm gonna go to the front view and if it's not in the right location with pivot alignment I'm gonna uh, adjust it and then going to the walls and turn on the walls and if some area that we have baseboard flip with the spline and with reverse I'm gonna fix it so now I'm gonna add doors to the scene to do that I'm gonna go to the file import merge and I go to the location that I have doors and then I pick the doors here open select all and hit ok gonna close this window and then I'm gonna have these type of the door single door double door and glass doors and the entrance door I'm gonna put all of them in one layer and then move it close to the scene and start adding to the right location one by one the first one that I'm gonna do is the single door I'm gonna select the first one close the layer explorer select it and then move it to the where, where we have single door and with the snap toggle uh, I'm gonna put it in the right location and if the door is bigger or smaller than the area that I have the door I need to adjust it working with the edit poly and make it exactly in the same size that we have door in the scene so I'm gonna start with the right side first move it to the right with the snap toggle I can do it accurately so move the door and casing to the right side and then because it's a group I'm gonna open the group and then select all the vertices for the casing on the left side and move it to the left and I'm gonna do the same for the door and I'm gonna select all the vertices and move it to the left and now I adjust it and I'm gonna close the group and then I'm gonna continue to do for all the doors now I'm gonna import windows I'm gonna go to the import merge and merge the window select all and hit ok and after bringing the all the windows to the scene then I'm gonna start adjusting the windows I have casing mullion and sliding doors for the balcony so I'm gonna move all close to the scene and first I'm gonna start with adjusting where, where we have a sliding door for the balcony and in the top view it's going to be easier to do that and then the perspective view I'm gonna move exactly in the area that we have a sliding door and after that I'm gonna start to adjust the casing first go to the vertex and move it to the right side of the wall with the snap toggle of course and then I'm gonna select the other side of the casing to the left side and once I adjusted the casing then I can start adjusting the thickness of the casing and move it in the right location and after that I'm gonna select mullion and make a copy of that for the left side so I'm gonna select it and with shift I'm gonna make a copy and move it to the left side and then select these mullions all together and after that I'm gonna move it to the left side 
exactly in the corner here and I'm going to adjust the casing for the sliding door and move it to the left side and I'm going to adjust the size of the sliding door with edit poly in the modifier panel I'm going to do that and move it to the left side for these fonts and the center part exactly in the center and the corner is okay for now and then I'm going to continue the same thing for all the area that I have windows. Okay, so we are done for this session. We made our structure, walls, windows, doors, floor, baseboard. In the next session, we're going to continue working on the kitchen, making kitchen cabinet and texturizing. So see you next time.